I'm going to show you guys exactly how to make a winning Shopify site. And this video is going to be perfect for beginners and someone that's wanting to get started with e-commerce. All right, guys, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to Shopify. You can go down in this video description and click the link to claim the 14 day free trial with Shopify. But basically with that, you can just come in, fill all the information. It's just going to ask you a few questions. And once you fill all the information, you're going to get taken to this dashboard and your Shopify dashboard right here. And this means that you've already found your product. You've already watched some of my videos to find your winning product. So now we're going to quickly go over just a few main things that you need on your store. And the first thing that you need is this app called Dessers. It's going to be an app where you can add products from AliExpress to your Shopify store. So what you want to do is you want to go to where it says apps and then you type in Dessers. It actually already pops up right here you need to make an account on aliexpress first and then come in download the dessers app and then make an account there so as you can see we're inside dessers so what we want to do is we want to go ahead and put a product insider that we're going to import so for this video i'm using a makeup mini fridge product so let's go in and let's get this product from aliexpress makeup mini fridge so now that we found the product on aliexpress what we're going to do is we're going to click on the product here and then we're going to come in and we're going to copy this link here and then we're going to go back into Dessers, the import list and then this is where you can copy and paste the aliexpress url now what you want to do is right here you can see that you can edit the product you can you know delete it split the product into multiple products but typically what i like doing is i like importing the product to shopify and then editing the product on shopify because it's a lot easier to do so all that you need to do is come in and click the push to Shopify button and then your product will get taken to your Shopify site. So as you can see here, we already have the product and product description made, right? We have really good images. We have everything like that. Now I'm going to go over everything with editing the product. But before we do that, you want to make sure that you have all of your legal pages, everything like that set up first. So what you want to do is you want to go to the settings button. And then at the very bottom, you want to come in and click policies. Now there's a couple of different policies that you need to add on your site. The first one is going to be a refund policy. The second one is going to be a privacy policy policy. Third one is a terms of service. And then the last one is a shipping policy. Just about all these policies, Shopify actually gives you a template that you can come in and just use your template. You don't need to custom write all these policies. So right here, there will be a button that says, you know, replace with template. This is just all of Shopify's template because you obviously, for legal reasons, you need a refund policy, you need a privacy policy, and you also need a terms of service. And the one thing that you would want to custom write is your shipping policy. So what I always do when I'm testing products is I do something extremely simple. So what I say in the shipping policy is at Glamour Flow, we strive to make sure customer satisfaction is our number one priority shipping times typically take from three to four weeks as always if you have any questions about your order do not hesitate to contact us through our contact us page now when i'm testing products i'm using aliexpress to test it so i do say three to four weeks or you could come in and say something like it takes you know typically around 10 to 14 business days which means you know just weekdays not counting weekends but obviously this is just for testing products once you have a winning product you can come in use a private supplier or use any type of agent to where you can get extremely fast shipping from there you want to go to your online store and then you want to click on pages the next page that you need to add is a contact us page this is something that is extremely important you want to make sure there's a place on your website to where customers can contact you you want to press add page which i already have the contact page you'll be taken to something just like this you can come in name the title contact us make sure as the theme template go in and press contact and then hit save this is going to bring up just a form where people can fill out their name email and then whatever message they want to tell you so after you save those the next thing that you want to do is you want to go to navigation and this is a step that most people miss so make sure you follow along you want to click navigation and then inside the quick links you want to click that if you make your policy pages they're not going to show up on the footer or bottom of your website you want to make sure that you add them inside the navigation so as you can see i already have all these added but if you want to come in and add them all you need to do is just go in click add menu item let's say i'm trying to add my privacy policy i would come in type in privacy policy 
I would search through my policy pages and then boom, as you can see, since you already made those pages and policies, you can come in and then pick the privacy policy. And this means that it will show up on the footer of your website. So now that you have all your legal pages, you wanna go back to the products tab in your Shopify. And this is where you can come in and edit your products. Now, I already have a few products because I already built this store. Let's come in and let's go to the beauty makeup fridge before you edit it. Just make sure the product is set as active and it's inside your sales channel because if your product says draft, then it's not gonna show up on your Shopify site. So as you can see here, our product is a makeup mini fridge. And if you guys don't know the benefits of it it essentially keeps all skincare products and all these things that women use on their face it keeps them cold which means that it works better and it also keeps the products lasting longer so as you can see here we have the product description it looks absolutely phenomenal it's extremely clean this is where you can come in and edit everything now you see that I have some pictures here and stuff like that this is something that I always make inside canva so if you guys don't use canva it's extremely easy to use you can make different custom graphics stuff like that it's kind of taking that next level and making your product look a lot better but we'll go over this in a little bit as you can see here we have beautiful images for the product as well we have three variants so now let's get to the good stuff and let's break down exactly this winning Shopify site now I have a custom theme on the Shopify store but what you can do is you can come in here and explore the free themes that Shopify uses and one theme that I really really love is this theme right here so if you guys are looking for a very reliable theme and you don't want to spend money on a premium theme this is one of the best themes that I recommend all right, so now we're inside the site. Whenever you're editing your site, make sure that you come in and click the mobile view. That's extremely important because all the traffic that you're doing, whether you're running ads, whether you're making TikTok videos, you're going to want to optimize for mobile view because no one is going through TikTok or going through Instagram on their computer. So as you can see right here, this is the home page. We say, find confidence in your natural beauty. Your skin will thank you and start shopping. This is something that you just wanna make sure when someone comes in your site they know exactly what you're kind of selling and you want to make a strong point so with all these different slideshows and everything you can customize it by coming in on the right hand side you know you can choose a different image that you might want on your slideshow you can come in and you can change the text and everything like that and then with this button right here where it says start shopping you can click whatever product you want to link it to so the biggest tip that i can give you is just make sure that you're comfortable navigating through shopify and as a beginner it's definitely going to take a little bit of time but the more you can be confident with being in shopify the faster you're going to be able to build websites so as you can see we come down here on the side we have the future product tab and the winning product that I chose is the makeup beauty fridge and then after that I always like having an about us or like a mission statement because it really gives you that brand feel when someone is coming on your website so I really believe that it's super important and as you can see on the site we really don't have more than you know three to four colors on the site we typically want to make it white black and then maybe like one one offsetting color which right here our color is kind of like a salmon kind of pinkish orange color which I think makes it really pop out and very vibrant and as you can see here we added a testimonial block right here we have a bunch of different testimonials from people that we came in and put in and then lastly we just have a newsletter and then as you can see here we have all of the footer links and privacy policies that we made before. Now you can see in the header, we have the home page. We have a link to the beauty fridge. I actually added a couple more products as well, just a couple filler products. And then we have the contact us page and the about page as well. But let's come in and let's look at the most important thing on your Shopify site, which is going to be the product description. So as you can see here, it already looks absolutely amazing. And by the way, all of these images are from canva.com. They're free images that I got. So make sure that you're not using supplier images because if you look at the difference of images on AliExpress versus my images, as you can see here, these images, they're not going to sell. No one's going to want to buy these. People might not even know what this is for. As you can see on my website, 
I show the functionality of the product through my images. As you can see, I have over four images that are absolutely beautiful. I have all the skincare products in there. Now, if you can't find images that are copy free on Canva or anything like that online, you can make your own custom content, which you can order the product on Amazon, wait a few days to get the product and then get your own custom photos. But custom content is something that is extremely important and you'll definitely need to order your product on Amazon to get the custom some content. In my product description, I always like it being started off with the question. So as you can see, I say tired of having too many facial products. You can't have each one at its highest quality. Well, us too, which is why we have created the Glamour Flow Beauty Fridge, where you can keep your skincare products fresher and longer and organize all your favorites in one convenient place. Now guys, this is so important because I always start off my product descriptions with a question and then I follow it up with the solution. This is something that really keeps the customer engaged and after that I list the benefits of the product I say that it extends the product shelf's life it reduces facial puffiness I also made this custom little picture inside canva.com and then also right here I made this inside canva.com as well and then I have a bunch of different benefits and stuff like that with the product you know all in very short paragraphs and very straight to the point and then at the end I say get yours now for 60% off today only. I create that scarcity between the consumer and the brand. It's really important to create that scarcity so you can get that impulse of purchase. And another thing to add is just make sure that you don't have more than three colors on your site. And as you can see here with colors, we have white, blue, and pink which looks extremely, extremely nice. And as you can see inside the product images, we have the white, we have the pink, and then we have the blue one as well. Now, as you can see here, we added a few more products. Now, this isn't something that is too important, but as you can see by the images that I use, I use different demographics of people. This is something to not take lightly because it really, really will increase the conversions on your site if you just have different demographics of people using your product. This is something that I've been testing for over a few years now and it's something that has increased my conversions dramatically. So hopefully that helps you guys be able to come in and create a really high quality website for your product and my biggest piece of advice for all beginners is to make sure that you're not rushing the process of making a great website and with that being said I will see you guys inside the next video.